Good morning everybody. There's a birdie stuck in the field, in the middle of the field. And this one is just sitting in the middle of the field. No cows. The sun's up. We left late. We left about quarter to uh, to seven. Oh, we're down at the bird sanctuary, and all we've got is bin chickens and a few ducks. Look at all those bin chickens. That's what a bin chicken looks like. Ugly critters. Nice pointy beak ready to get open up all the bins and look at them all hundreds and hundreds of bin chickens and they're just a pest but they're a native pest so you can't they're protected now this is an interesting little park this is hancock street park funny enough it's off hancock street just down there which is uh, not that far from Nala and her sister, the Malamute and the uh, Samoyed. Now, if he's been here before, she's never been here before. So I was trying to work out when was the last time we came up here. And because I had him only, it was been well over seven years ago was the last time I came through here. This trail was not here. There was a, just a trail from the estate over there to the, the street down there. And that was it. And it wasn't a very long park. It was all boarded off and fenced and everything like that. So now it's unfenced. And we've got lots of new trees being planted. We've got a couple of planters over there doing the work. So this is managed by the friends of the escarpment. Nice little park. She says, I want to go over there. She says, I want to sniff here. He just wants to supervise. He's a good supervisor. Nietzsche. You're a good supervisor, mister. That's a good boy. You can see there's new plantings up there. These plants, are th the, from what I can work out, are free. Um, because it is a council park. They're just getting free labour to water and maintain it at the moment. Nice new little plants. So the council has got a big area and they uh, they uh, cultivate native species. This is a good idea. Because otherwise the council would never plant them, it would just cost too much money. Koalas? Anybody see a koala? She says I've sn sniffed something Dave. Oh, I really sniffed something. So I don't know if there'll be uh, kangaroos or anything, but look at those logs. Those logs will be, those uh, tree trunks will be perfect for uh, um, making nesting boxes out of. For all the cockatoos and whatnot. And little birdies that need them. Hey, there's a big brown doggy. Yeah. Big brown doggy wants to say hello. 
Hello, like big brown doggy. Hey, boy, eh? You're a boy. He says, yeah, look how high I can lift my leg. <laughs> yeah, definitely a boy. Oh. You're protecting your property, are you, mister? Oh, go going down and see if Nala is home. Hello, sweeties. <gasps> Nala's here. Nala. Hello, Nala. Yeah. Oh, 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 I know it's been ages. <laughs> Now. Yeah, because I lost a, lost a cuddle buddy, they moved. Oh, oh you got a lot to say, don't you? Yeah. Well, that was lovely. Yeah, we got to see Nala. We have to do another roll. Second one, let's walk. Yeah, he's covered in grass. Guess they've moved the lawn. And now there's grass all over him. Isn't that right? And we got to also meet Nala's mum. And she was very nice. Um, she said that... Uh, uh, that she gets to see some friends so she's obviously knows that we walk past every now and again she's probably the one that was looking out the window a couple of months ago when Nala was going off and she's going off again as you heard so at least uh, we've met now and she doesn't seem to mind us going up and saying hello. Hello to Nala. We'll leave you to it everybody. We're on our way home. Have a wonderful day everybody. See you next time. <laughs>